Ah, uh, just, I really wanted to paddle yesterday, but it was a little too windy and a little, the weather was a little too rough. So I just wanted to get out here today. I, I did about like seven years ago uh, paddling down here, but I haven't had power for a full day now, so you gotta kind of think it out of the box to entertain yourself. It's definitely a little higher than Sandy. We didn't lose any docks, but we're right across from the Yacht Club, and they, they're a huge, uh, about 30 yard dock uplifted. Uh, we got about a foot and a half into uh, our garage, but other than that, has been, it's been all right. Well, overall, what happened was Friday night, we lost it at about 1.30 uh, for maybe an hour, and then we lost it again just after 5. And at 5 on, uh, I guess, Saturday morning, uh, we've been without it since. You know, it becomes a part of your life here. You're kind of used to the flooding. I mean, sure, it's inconvenient that I wanted to get down to 50 in my house last night. No, but <laughs> you're living at the shore. <laughs> Yeah, we're about six inches higher than Sandy on this time. Uh, you have to take your hands off to uh, the city of North Wildwood. They did a great job preparing everybody. This is island life. Uh, you have to get prepared for it, and we'll just rebuild and uh, be open again for the summer. Uh, we had about uh, two feet, two and a half feet of water. Uh, they came in from the bay. Uh, no power yet. We're in the day two of no power, no heat. Uh, but it could be worse. As long as nobody died, uh, you can always buy more stuff. Uh, life was the most important part of it. We'll just rebuild. Do it again. <laughs>